Hey, Gary, I hope you're well. Uh, thank you so much for participating. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, actually, and the trial that you're on with Bazutifan and how things are going for you? Sure. Well, luckily for me and, uh, and my wife and my family, I've been... Um, I've been uh, living a pretty normal life for a little over two and a half years. Um, been taking the uh, trial drug Belzutafat, 120 milligram, and um, it has. Uh, I've experienced minimal side effects. I've had uh, a little um, hypoxia and uh, a little anemia, so you know a little fatigue goes along with that, but. Compared to other treatments that uh, that I've tried and other treatments that are um, out there, uh, I feel like I've been very lucky. I've been able to live a fairly normal life and travel and um, get a little bit of my uh, health back and my strength back, and uh, I'm 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 pretty happy about it. Uh, over that amount of time, the uh, my metastasis uh, has uh, been pretty stable. And I'm and I'm happy about that, and uh, I, I feel like I've been very lucky. Some of the other uh, treatments that I had tried prior to uh, uh, Dr. Humerson enrolling me and suggesting this trial uh, had been it, it's been quite an adventure. And I've tried immunotherapy, and I've tried um, uh, uh, radiation. I've tried uh, IL two. That was quite an adventure, and uh, so I feel like I'm very lucky, and I, I appreciate the opportunity. Gary was struggling uh, with the prior therapies. There's no doubt about it, um, and um, I, I felt this would a unique this would be a unique opportunity. Obviously, we never know if a drug works for a patient or not, but you know he is one of the pioneers. Um, who decided, you know, let me go for it. Um, you know, there's a certain risk with the drug that you don't know. You don't know if it's going to work for you or not. Um, but, you know, he helped us understand how much to give of the drug. The data is now out of the trial that he's in. And so for me, it was a no-brainer. And so I'm grateful to Gary and I'm grateful that it's working for him. So clinical trials are, I call them windows of opportunity, uh, quite frankly. So uh, so you look at a, a patient, see, you know, what they've done before. Are they potentially eligible for a clinical trial? The trial that he's on, um, it's kind of like a dose finding uh, study, um, try to figure out, you know, what is the right dose of bezutifan? There were some questions. And um, the reason why we accrued actually a really large number of patients to this trial is because, you know, as UT Southwestern, we're obviously well aware of bezutifan since it was actually discovered here. I think bezutifan is a very, very interesting um, drug for kidney cancer. I, I think I call it, to be honest with you, I, I call it the third leg uh, in clear cell kidney cancer in particular. It's unclear how well it works in non-clear cell kidney cancer. But um, it has shown in early clinical trials and also in the most recent phase three clinical trial that was presented in Europe, um, robust response rates of around 23%. It doesn't sound like a high number, but for, you know, pre-treated patients, sometimes heavily pre-treated patients, this is a robust response rate. And the nice thing is for those patients, as Gary's experience has shown, it can work actually for a long time. And as Gary has said, you know, the, the drug is unique in the, um, a toxicity profile and a side effect profile. It's a real break from other drugs. Um, you know, patients have much less fatigue, typically much less. The typical tyrosine kinase and a better side effects. There's really no diarrhea. There is no hand foot syndrome. Um, the appetite is much better. There's not much metallic taste interference. Um, Patients gain weight, get stronger, gain performance status. It's almost like a real break from these drugs. It's it's really, I would say, clinically as a physician, uh, it's remarkable. You know, I'm, I'm happy to be one of Dr. Hammer's uh, pioneers, as he calls it. So uh, as long as we can keep uh, uh, quality alive, I think that would be great. 
and have some success. But I'm, and of course, there's a selfish component to uh, to trying something new like this uh, in the hopes of prolonging my life and quality of life and time with my family. But I'm I'm a, I'm very much aware of the potential benefit to other patients um, by participating in these trials and the results that we may get and that we may be able to pass along uh, down the road to other to other patients who need uh, need the, to go to the next step and have something available to them. So I'm, I'm very pleased that I can be a part of that. This is the greatest gift that we can have is our patients participating in this. Without uh, our patients particip uh, participating in this, we would not have new tools. And um, yes, there's a chance for themselves to be in, but they understand something bigger. And um, I'm just deeply grateful for patients and their families often making time commitments, uh, often resources to participate in clinical trials. And, and I just want to say thank you to the community of patients who do this.